Chromium has 24 electrons because its atomic number is 24. The first two are in the 1s sublevel. Since an s sublevel can hold a maximum of two electrons, we need to move to the next highest sublevel, the 2s, and the next two electrons go in that sublevel. Now we need to move to the next sublevel, which is the 2p. A p sublevel can hold a maximum of six electrons, so we'll put six electrons there. Now we'll move up to the 3s, which can hold two electrons just like the other s sublevels, and the next six electrons will go into the 3p, which can hold a maximum of six electrons just like the other p sublevel. Now we'll go up to the 4s and put two electrons there, and then finally we'll need to move up to the 3d, which can hold 10 electrons, so we can put the last four electrons in that sublevel. Technically, the more correct electron configuration is actually 4s1, 3d5. Sublevels are most stable if they're completely full or half full. Since the 3d only needed one more electron to make it half full with five electrons, an electron will move from the 4s into the 3d so that both the 4s and 3d are half full. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, please like it and subscribe to the channel.